CERN is the European Laboratory for Particle Physics and it's where we have the Large Hadron Collider which is the biggest and most powerful particle accelerator ever built. We basically use it as a very, very powerful microscope uh, to really understand the basic building blocks of our universe. Uh, to do that we use an experiment called ATLAS uh, which is the biggest experiment at the LHC and Sheffield was a founding institute of ATLAS and, and we're very heavily involved in, in running and analysing the data from the experiment and many of the academics in Sheffield, myself included, are leading the analysis of data from ATLAS. My experience of physics at Sheffield has been quite transformative. So originally I went uh, really enjoying astrophysics and that's what I started to do. But then um, I really enjoyed particle physics and that's what uh, I've been able to switch over and really focus on that. And also I really hated experimental physics when I started and now I really love it. And uh, yeah, Sheffield's just been a really great place to explore the different parts of physics and really find what I'm really interested in. Sheffield to me is like a home from home. I love everything about it from the city to the university and the physics department has been so comforting and the guidance that they provided to get you through the difficult times because it hasn't been easy to get through the degree but it's been so worth it. <laughs> Um, I'm about to continue my studies in Sheffield, actually I'm doing a PhD in the Astro Department and now I get the opportunity to pick something that I've enjoyed in my four years doing my Masters and actually specialise in it and learn a lot more about it and I can't wait to do that. I'm a PhD student here based at CERN on the Atlas Experiment and I'm studying for PhD in supersymmetry. So supersymmetry, what this is, is it's a relationship between two of the most fundamental types of particles that exist in the world, bosons and fermions. What I study is called the search for the spotum quark. So in particle physics we have six types of quarks. What I'm looking for is the supersymmetric par partner of the bottom quark, which is called the spotum. So this is very similar to a bottom quark, but it has higher mass and then it has this property that physicists call spin which means that it's different, so therefore, instead of being a fermion, it's a boson. The thing that excites me most about particle physics is just the possibility for new discoveries, uh, finding new particles uh, that may or may not explain a little bit more about the universe. I've only been here for two weeks, um, and I'm going to be here for two years, but even in these first two weeks, I've already seen so many interesting things and met so many interesting people, um, and it just feels like this is going to be the first step in a really exciting career in particle physics. Studying physics at university is really an opportunity to really uh, get into the depths of the subject and understand it in far more detail uh, than you would at school, really understand really how the universe works at its most fundamental uh, scales. We support our students uh, to go wherever they want in their, in their careers, so whether that be to um, out into the world of work straight after a degree or to a master's or even to a PhD and really that will enable them really to give them a competitive edge in whatever field they, they go into and really enable them to become the leaders of tomorrow.